Hello guys, Jis here. Welcome back to another tutorial on customizing your desktop using Rainmeter. All these links are provided in the description. First of all, install Rainmeter if you haven't already. Don't forget to enable this checkbox. Else, your skins won't show up next time when you log into your PC. Now, download rest of the files from the given links, which are required to set up this theme. We have downloaded all the files. We need one more application called Lively, which can be downloaded from the store. I have already installed it. Make sure you have installed this app in your system before proceeding. Once installed, open it from your taskbar tray by double-clicking the app icon. Click the plus icon to add your custom wallpaper to the list. Now that the wallpaper is applied, let's hide the desktop icons and taskbar. Now we can set up the Rainmeter skins one by one. Make sure you uncheck this option before installing each skin. You won't have these many skins pre-installed when you open Rainmeter. I have installed them previously for other tutorials. We have installed and loaded these three skins, which are over here in the desktop. Now we can start configuring them. Remove this section from this file and click save. 
Refresh the skin to see the changes. You can adjust the size of day skin by scrolling over it, customize it as you like, and align it to its proper position. Now let's configure the visualizer, which is the final skin in this theme. Once we load the visualizer, play some audio in the background. I have provided the pre-configured settings file for this visualizer along with the links. Open it and copy-paste the whole content to this visualizer settings file. Once done, your visualizer should look similar to this one. Now just drag and align it to the position. If you want to customize it furthermore, double-click the visualizer to open its settings. Here you can customize the color, size, audio sensitivity and much more. I will quickly show you how we can customize color of the visualizer spectrum in gradient mode. And in here, you can adjust the audio sensitivity as per your setup. And finally, if you want to customize the wallpaper, follow the next steps. If in case you have messed up, just click on the restore defaults to reset everything back to normal. And that was the end of this tutorial. Hope you like this theme, and do let me know your feedback in the comments. Like this video, and subscribe to get more such themes in the future. Until we meet next time, this is Jis, signing off.